This episode of the Brilliance Plus Passion Podcast is brought to you by the Podcast Reach System. Are you ready to exponentially reach more profitable customers? Launching and hosting your own show is your proven best solution for networking, client attraction, and establishing your celebrity expert brand. Visit www.podcastreachsystem.com and claim your rightful place as the leading star of your industry so you make a difference for your community, market, and audience. Welcome to the Brilliance Plus Passion Podcast. Join us as we celebrate entrepreneurs, business creators, and brilliant minds who reveal what they are doing to make the world a better place by being part of it. Be sure to visit our website at www.brilliancepluspassion.com. While you're there, subscribe to us via your favorite network. Now sit back, lean in, tune in, get your notepad and two pens ready, and let's get started. Welcome once again to another fantastic episode. My name is Adam Homey. I'm your host, and I am honored by your wise decision to tune in and invest in yourself today. Right now, we are speaking with Vicki Nethling. Let me tell you a little bit about her. She's been married 43 years in June. Congratulations. Two daughters, two grandsons. She's a retired UPS project manager, region advisor for Toastmasters International, small business owner for anti-aging and wellness, ambassador for advanced technology business, youth leadership coordinator, and champion. Vicki, welcome aboard. And I'm happy to be here, Adam. Great. First question. Yes. How does the work you do make the world a better place for your clients, your customers, and just society at large? So, so many people lack confidence in what they do. And part of that is either they don't know how to get their message across and, and they're fearful of speaking out to, to groups, even as small as two people, you know. And there's also, you, you get to a point where you think, I don't want to have any mirrors in my house. I just don't like the way I look and people aren't going to be attracted to me. And so therefore my message is not going to get heard because, you know, I just don't like the way I look. And also people, as you, you know, get busy, you tend to not take care of yourself. And so they don't feel good. So, so what I think, it, what I do is I listen to see what is your pain point? What is it that is keeping you from being the best you, having the best life and see if I can give you a solution to it? Can I direct Great. you to someone else or to what I have? Great. So specifically, what is it that you do? I get the sense of the value, but what is the actual product or the service or what is it? So the what I do is a little bit convoluted in the sense that I do a bunch of things right now. I yeah. My anti-aging and wellness company is my primary focus, and it is a, a business that I got into also because of the culture. I like the yeah. culture and the sense that we make people feel better, look better and live better. And it's all about having you gain that confidence to achieve what you want to do. And, and everybody is supporting one another. So that was, that's the anti-aging and wellness. And I'm 63 and nobody guesses it. So number one, that, that sold me after just yeah. a year of using the products. It was like 10 years gone. Thank you very much. The other two things that I have going is the uh, Toastmasters, which I am blessed to be able to um, use the skills that I've acquired over the last 23 years and been able to coach and counsel district leaders in California. I have five districts and the districts have about um, anywhere from 2,500 to 4,000 members in each district. And I coach the top three people that are helping the grow the membership as well as make it function well. And then my uh, other business is just a new business. The company that I joined is only uh, two years old and you take the premise of 
of the Amazon and Uber and Lyft and using the artificial intelligence and advanced technology, it allows you as a business owner to identify leads and people that are looking to save money in travel, in ride share, in uh, your bills. And the, through the artificial intelligence, the things that the responses that they make in uh, to your emails and different things you send mm -hmm. will direct them to get ads or um, uh, opportunities. So for travel, yeah. if you say, oh, I, I really am going to Google or search in this um, for places that are in Caribbean or something or cruises, and all of a sudden you'll start getting emails and posts and things that are for Caribbean and and giving you those opportunities. So there's not a lot of work that I have to do to be in that business. And the savings is great. And you get paid for what, when people save. And I like that too. So you, you get a win-win. The uh, yeah. final thing that I'm involved in is the, um, through the church, I am on the pastoral council and that's gonna be winding down as is my region advisor and I can get back into doing what I truly passionately love, and that's teaching children ages eight to 17 how to speak well. And wow. And that is transformational. That is what is giving these kids an advantage that we waited till we were 30 to try to, to, to tackle. And uh, they are like sponges, and it, it's just yeah. so fulfilling to see that. I'm not sure if this is the exact same thing that you do when it comes to the kids, but I've been saying for some time that neuro linguistic pro programming should be part of the educational curriculum because we need to be able to persuade people yeah. to do things for us in alignment with their truth according to their own desires. Uh, this is whether you are looking to get a job, it's whether you're looking to find a life partner negotiate for a house, negotiate for a car, uh, get to go where you want to go for dinner. And mm -hmm. I believe that if we could raise the level across the board and we could give help people understand the powers of the subtleties of language, and a lot of this stuff is very easy to do. Uh, NLP is not really like some kind of magic with or without the K at the end. It's <laughs> simply a matter. It's simply a matter of communicating with people more effectively so that you co-create decisions and co-create experiences. And I believe it would also help us become a more unified society because we would be able to able to relate to each other and access each other's truth rather than trying to impose one or the other. Mm -hmm. That's just my thought. So yeah. uh, this is partially my soapbox. So I could say cool things like that. <laughs> now, um, and now we're going to speed this up a little bit. Uh, in your experience, what are the three most common questions people in general have when asking about what you do. And I know for you, that's a little bit loaded because you're doing a lot of stuff. So just pick three. You know, but it was funny when I was writing them all out uh, to try to answer this and think about my thoughts. It came up with the same things. How much does it cost? How much time does it take? Um, do you help me? And um, am I am I really going to like doing this? <laughs> you know, it's right. like, so in Toastmasters and Neora and everything, they ask the same questions and it, well, yeah, that's more than three. So we're going to deduct one from your total. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So, so let's flip that. And what are the three questions you wish people would ask you? And if it's four, it's four. No, actually I, I only came up with two. So maybe I take that. Okay. Now, okay, okay. now we're going to balance it out. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. So, what I wish they would ask me, I mentioned earlier that I really am looking for people with like mindset that I have. And so I, I would, I wish they would ask me, you know, how are you going to help me to be successful? What are you going to do to support me? Because then I know that they're not going to um, be somebody that is, is really going to join and then ghost me for the rest of the time, you know, type of thing. And the other yeah. thing is, you know, why why should i join because i need to know what their why is i need to be able to help them articulate what their why is because their why will drive them to success yeah and so those are the two things that i'm looking for 
Okay, so now we're going to flip to the fun part of our interview here where we get to know a little bit more about you as an individual. So the first question is, what would people who know you be surprised to learn about you? So the funny thing is that a lot of people have no idea that I ran the torch in the 1996 Olympics as an American hero. And yeah. so that was through Coca-Cola was looking for uh, heroes to run the torch across the U.S. And I was nominated by someone at UPS and was able to run from UPS uh, up the hill. So everybody had a quarter mile. But I have the torch here in my office and the the looks on people's face when they walk in and they see it. And it's like, is that a real torch? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Wow, that that's really <laughs> awesome. So what do you hope people say about you when you're not around to hear it? I think what I would like for people to say about me is that I am somebody that cares about people and tries to help them. And, you know, whether it's giving them advice about, you know, the best movie, the best food, but also that um, listens to them to see how I can help them. I just love helping people, um, as I mentioned, young as well as the elderly. I think that our purpose in life here is to try to make lives better and to use our gifts to do so. And so I find um, how I can help and do so. So that's how I would like to be remembered. Great. If you could go back in time and change one thing you've done or one thing that's happened, what would it be and why? Yeah. I think what I would have liked to do is as a young employee, I really didn't have the confidence and it took me a number of years to get into management and I didn't even really want to be, I kind of was pushed into management. And then when I got there, I had all these managers that were trying to tell me how to lead and it wasn't in my style. It wasn't really something that resonated with me. And I wish I would have had the courage in my forties to be able to stand up for what I knew was the right way to lead people and do that. My fifties were a whole lot better because I found that. And um, so that's what I would have liked to do is to really find my voice earlier and believe in myself. You know, it's funny that we've had this same theme where cards, the idea of people finding their voices and being, give, being given the equipment to locate their voices. Now, uh, what famous person, alive or dead, would you like to meet? And if you had the opportunity to do so, what questions would you have for them? So I just recently saw a keynote of with Erin King, and she is a entrepreneur that really helps people with social media and marketing, online marketing. But what I liked about her was the, the realness of the way that she presented herself. That you could just see that she was a person who was authentic and you, you wanted to hang out with her. You, you loved the way that she presented herself. She was finding humor in life and not afraid to make fun of herself to get her point across. And I just think that that is the best way to be. I want people when they look at me to see me and to want to hang out with me. And so I would love to kind of hear a little bit about her history, her growth and her story to be able to um, see how I could maybe grow from that. Fantastic. What motivates, inspires you to keep going when you're facing a challenge or having a tough time? I, I think what motivates me is the end game, um, my family, and to be able to uh, to be able to be there for them, and and so everything that I do now, even in retirement, and my husband thinks I don't know what retirement is, but <laughs> I, I constantly am looking for ways that I'm going to leave a legacy for my kids and the grandkids, and. Um, to be able to have the freedom to to do what I need to do and um, and and to get it done. So, you know, that would yeah. be it. All right. So finally, I know you have something do you want me to share with our listeners, and we'll get to that in a minute. I'll take care of it. But in general, right now, what is one action 
you want our listeners to take as soon as they finish listening to us today? So I, I think what the action would be is to just ask yourself, are you living the best life that you can live? Are you really satisfied? And if you are, that's great. You should treasure every moment and to um, be able to share your secrets of how you got there. But if you're not, what is it that's holding you back? Is it that you need to be not afraid of speaking out and um, sharing your voice? Or is it that you, you really just don't have that confidence that you think is needed to be successful? Uh, I yeah. just really would want people to just start to just take stock of what is your strengths and, and your weaknesses and how can you use those weaknesses to become opportunities? Great. That is amazing. So thank you for being with us today. And before you go, I know there's something that you wanted me to share with the listeners. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And this is going to zero in on one of the many areas that you <laughs> serve people. But the important thing is we open a conversation. Now, I'll tell you, Ken, and this is where sometimes at the Brilliance Plus Passion Project, we open up the curtain, let you see a little bit of what's going on behind the uh, world of podcasting. Uh, so... Um, I have, you gave me this really long URL that there was no way in hell I was going to be able to speak <laughs> out for our, for our viewers. So for you, and I don't do this for a lot of people because it's usually not necessary, uh, we're going to shorten it for the purposes of this show. So if people go to www.brilliancepluspassion.com forward slash Nethling, which is spelled N-O-E-T-H-L-I-N-G, uh, this is going to be an opportunity to get in touch with Vicky and enjoy your first step for erasing 10 years from your face. Uh, maybe you interpret that one of several different ways, but this is the best way. This is the best way to get in hold of Vicki if any of these many things she shared with us today is resonating with you right now and making you think, I want to take this one step further. So again, uh, brilliancepluspassion.com forward slash Nethling. And with that... Vicki, thank you again. It's been an honor, believe me, in education. Thank you so much, Adam. I enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning into the Brilliance Plus Passion podcast, where we celebrate entrepreneurs, business creators, and brilliant minds who are making a difference for their community, market, and audience. Remember to visit our website at www.brilliancepluspassion.com and enjoy even more great episodes like this one. Again, while you're here, subscribe to us via your favorite network. We look forward to seeing you next time on the Brilliance Plus Passion Podcast.